And I want to talk about uh, family history with you, you know what I'm saying, because you said you come from, a, you know, situations where you've experienced diseases and stuff. When it mm-hmm. comes to, like, diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure, do you feel like those type of diseases are genetic or do you feel like it's just more so our diet and our fitness overall? It's so, it's crazy that you literally listed the things that my family struggles with and it was not hereditary, it was choice. Mm -hmm. You know, like my father, I lost my dad to complications with diabetes and it was lifestyle choices. My mom, hypertension, like she's had multiple strokes and I now take care of my mom. Mm -hmm. Uh, Due to that hypertension, it's just like, these are things that we could have prevented, avoided, you know, just by taking care of ourselves, making healthier choices. But I have watched you know, and witness my own family go through some, like, horrific things because of what they could have prevented. So that alone just lets me know, like, nah, I don't want that for myself, my children, you know, or the people around me, just trying to help them make better choices so they don't end up in that situation. Mm. Because I know coming from, um, you know, our history, I think we kind of relate to, you mm-hmm. know, my family. Oh, my, my she, whole dad side of the family almost got pressure, diabetes. High cholesterol, yeah. and it keeps going on and on and on. And then mm. a lot of times, too, a lot of times our family members pick on us, or they try to make a joke, oh, damn, what you, and you eating salad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, now you got to get you <laughs> some Grass. Yeah. You know, how you do you handle the whole situation? That plate, boy. Yeah, you better put some <laughs> out there on pork chops on your plate with that salad. So for me, I actually, um, what was it, ninth grade, mm. And I'm going to date myself. So I'm a little older than y'all. But I know it was probably about 98 is when I actually stopped eating uh, like beef and pork. Mm-hmm. So I've been on just my chicken and fish since that. And people have, I'm so used to the comments and people yeah. always trying to make a joke. I'm like so numb to it because that's a lifestyle choice for me. Yeah, you know, and right. I feel good when y'all over there all sluggish and complaining and everything. Tired. I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. for real. And something I've never been big on. Just because I may have chose something, I also don't down someone else. Mm-hmm. You know, we could be sitting here with the chicken and fish and the healthier choice, and we're like, now you about to eat that? Hey, do you. Right. Now, unless you <laughs> ask for my opinion, I'm, you know. Right. But uh, exactly. the criticism, I'm good, because I know what my body is going through and, and the reward that right. it has for picking the better choice. I was just watching Abbott Elementary where they were, like, picking on him because he mm-hmm. doesn't like to eat pizza or whatever, yeah. and he was saying the same thing. He was like, I mean, why do we have to make everything so personal right. yeah. just because, you know Somebody what I'm saying, I don't like it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, I don't have to eat pizza if I don't want to eat pizza, you know. But Right. That's real. Mm. That's real. 